Palace, a mark resolution on pH rough war pros, an abuse, Manila, Philippines Malacan and blend as an abuse of the United Nations Human Rights Council, a mark process with the Iceland-led resolution that would probe the human rights situation in the Philippines. In a statement, his Deputy Secretary Salvador Nidi will be rejected into strongest terms the resolution adopted by 18 countries during the 41st session of the UNRWA in Geneva. 14 voted no and 15 states abstained. It is unfortunate that, by this resolution, a faction, consisting of a mere 18 countries a small group relative to the 47, Python strong membership of the Council, and smaller still in view of the total UN membership of 193 countries has unceremoniously grasped the platform provided by the Human Rights Council and, without verifying the facts on the ground, used such platforms to call out the Philippine government for the human rights situation in the country, Mediolvia, said. We reject this resolution because, prove it, a minority has short-circuited and rendered inutile the time-honored mechanisms by which the UN maintains the accountability of member states, such as the treaty body system and the unmarked universal periodic review, he added. The Philippines, as one of the pioneering members of the UN, he said has been abiding by these mechanisms, as they embody the processes that give due credence to member states, accountability and transparency. It is through such mechanisms that the human rights concerns mentioned in the resolution should have been taken up, verified and addressed, he added. Mediolvia hit the resolution as an affront to Philippine sovereignty. The Philippine government sees the resolution for what it is a pernicious act, and affront to a sovereign, peace-loving nation, and abuse of unmarked processes. And we believe that many, if not most of the unmarked members, see it in the same light, as shown by the contentious vote leading up to the resolution, with the majority either abstaining or voting against it, he said. Since he assumed office in 2016, Duterte has received global condemnation for his bloody war on drugs, which according to government data has caused the death of six, 600 drug suspects. Thus media will dismiss the criticisms on the president's crackdown on illegal drugs, saying the Philippines is entering a historical era in its governance that is anchored on the genuine protection of the rights of human life, liberty and property. The palace official even cited the high satisfaction rating of Suter in recent public surveys. The efforts of this administration towards that end, supported by the judgment of over 80% of Filipinos emphatically expressing approval of the current administration, shall not be disrupted by baseless conjectures from influential political interest groups which have clearly misinformed the states supporting this resolution, he said. In this regard, we call on the diplomatic community to listen more to the Filipino people, rather than let a few political organizations mislead your capital back to the real state of human rights in our country, he added. Despite this unfortunate development, he said the Philippine government shall continue with its work of ensuring peace, order and security for our people. We shall remain unrelenting in our campaign against illegal drugs, corruption, criminality, and terrorism, he added, saying, no resolution from any international council, especially those that by states that are misinformed about the situation in our country, shall weaken our resolve to effectively protect our people's lives, their properties and their freedoms. Slash AC, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.